Hi there, I'm Christine Cheever. Welcome to the All Friends Cabaret. It's the show that connects you. Well, tonight I am so excited because we have a gentleman that's back here at the cabaret to tell about tell us all about his fantastic year and boy it was really something uh, Kendall Ramser is a composer a cellist and he has an album time t-i-m-e and he was in the cabaret last spring uh, to play for us and so what's so exciting is uh, so many great things have happened to him since then and so we're going to hear his song now for when he was here in May, and then we're gonna talk to him all about his exciting adventures. So stay tuned. Mistake after mistake, and I'm sure they're not the last. But what I need from you is understanding I'm not class. You look down on me because I'm a lover of men. Instead of caring about the battle that rages within, a battle for love I hope would yield some form of peace from a contradicting world where church and state see me. When all I see is disrespect All I wanted was a father who would lead me and protect You look down on me cause I sell myself to make ends meet I know full well that my life could end in tragedy But were you there when molestation abound? In a home I thought was safe, oh, oh boy was I really wrong shoes have you seen what i have seen things that shape my destiny so why not throw the first stone since you got it going on let's be honest with ourselves your claws is filled with filth and cobbles. you're in denial that's all right it's done in darkness comes to light just make sure you can explain all that lies is seen and swine. so when you're sitting on your throne reminiscing on your life ask yourself the simple question am i really jesus christ you're judging from a blind side we all come from the same sea called the human race there's no perfection here we all need mercy and grace must you disown me i'm alone if you help god
So, Kendall, thank you. That was a beautiful song. It was thank called you. I'm Your Own. Yeah. yeah, so well, we welcome you to the cabaret. Thank Back you. to the cabaret. Yeah. Thank you so much for being It's my pleasure. Be Thanks back. For me. Yes, yeah. because when you were last on the program, uh -huh. that album was just released, correct? Exactly. Okay, and tell us um, the inspiration behind the album. Yes, uh, so it was, it was very interesting. I uh, was in my second year of grad school and trying to figure out what I wanted to do after that. Decided that I wanted to pursue the field of, of music, of course, but also really pushing to be a recording artist. Right. Uh, so there was a, a piece that fell over me and the next day I received a $20,000 sponsorship. Uh, great. Yes, great. so that took care of the the, uh, the expenses of creating the album, producing, mixing. So it um, just, everything came together. Started falling Isn't into that place. nice? Yes, Isn't that nice? Tell absolutely. us about your musical background. Yeah, so I'm a uh, classically trained cellist. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been studying uh, cello for over 18 years now. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say studying because I'm not studying anymore. I'm actually trying right. to make a living. But right, <laughs> right. Well, that's good. That's yes. the goal, right? <laughs> right, right. But yeah, for 17 years, um, I did my undergrad at the uh, School of the Arts. It's right. in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I got right. my bachelor's there. And that's a very prestigious school. It is. Know, yes. It is. And then I, I moved to Boston and did my, my graduate work here and graduated in 2012 with my master's in and, music performance. And what brought you to Boston? Did you have a pick of schools that you were interested in? Yes. There were, there were a few different schools, New England Conservatory, Boston University, Boston Conservatory. Uh, and then there were also some uh, schools out west in, in California. Uh, but I think it was more of, I don't know, I, I try to just allow peace to guide me. And I felt a, a great amount of peace with Boston University and the teacher that I was, I was wanting to study with. So, oh, that's great. Yeah, I came here and I didn't look back. You know. All right. And so how long did it take you to record the album? I took about three months. Oh, all right. About three months. Yeah, it didn't take too long. It was really a, a rush. I had to really turn it, you know. Yeah, uh, turn it around. Exactly. Okay, so now you put the album together. Yes. You show up on the All Friends Cabaret. Yes. Here you are. <laughs> and um, and um, that was Willie Jones, actually, as well. That was on the piano. The, yes. on the piano that or played or singing, with yes. Singing, singing as well, right. too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so then I'm following Kendall on Facebook, and it's like a tour here. Or this. So we're <laughs> going to go through the year because it ended up with you being an award winner. We oh. like having award winners on the cabaret <laughs> as well. So tell me, you finished, you started a, a tour yes. of, of the album. Yes, we call it the, uh, the Time Series Tour. And tell and us what time means. Yeah, it, it's an acronym. It stands for Truths and Many Experiences. Okay. Um, and so it's me just uh, trying to help people realize that there's little golden nuggets that you can pull out of every experience you right. know even the bad experience it's like there's always something that you can learn right. uh, so that's where the 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 title comes from truths and many experiences there's truths that you can find in, in every experience and how did you get your inspiration mm -hmm. for you know you seem so positive and yeah. you know i'm sure that it, being in this business it, it, there might be times where you don't get that audition. Or, right, yeah. right. I, I think there's, there's a combination of, of, a, of a few couple of th a few things. Uh, one being um, looking at where the state of media today, music that is being released and um, just not really finding too many artists that are really pushing that, that uh, uh, positive message. The positive yes. message, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was really inspired to uh, to push that. Right. But then also there were um, some of the songs on the album are stories from uh, family members and close friends. Right. Um, so I, I try to just incorporate all of that, just experiences of, of, of uh, my own experiences and, and how uh, the environment affects me. Yes. And then also uh, you know, experiences of families, family and, and friends. Then and then sharing that through your music. Exactly. Oh, that's that great. For some level of inspiration. So you made over 50 appearances this year. Yes. Wow. Okay. So you've been busy. Very busy. And give me some of the highlights. What were some of oh, the... Oh, goodness. Uh, so we, as, as you were saying before, I, I, we did start a the Tom Series yes. tour where okay. we uh, performed different states in the New England area. Okay. Uh, but some of the highlights of, of this year, uh, I had the opportunity to... to um, work with B.B. Winans. All right, tell um, me how that came to be. Yeah, well, my manager, uh, she, she's always finding like all these great opportunities, but right. uh, she found out that he was going to uh, be in town. I think she was contacted by someone at Arts Emerson, and uh, they invited me to audition. So I auditioned and I, I sung 
uh, uh, one of my own songs and then an, another song by a, a gospel artist. And All right. And they were they doing a play or what were yes, they? Yes, it's a it's a musical play um, written about the Winans, but it, it was written by um, Charles Randolph Wright, All right. uh, a very well known uh, playwright. Uh, so that was one of the highlights. I got to work one-on-one -on -one with B.B. Winans. And then did that um, escalate into a performance, or what yeah. was that? Well, so it's, it was, they were, how plays work is uh, they go through a few workshops before. Oh, right, before right. they're staged. Exactly, and right. so this was okay. the, the first workshop. Um, and oh then, gosh, the, you know, so we'll see there's probably a few more workshops that it has to go through because it's a, it's a little bit of a tedious process in getting your, your plays and musicals on Broadway, and that's the goal right, for, right. For, for them. But, uh, and did you find, were you able to talk, speak with the wine and of course, when they were yeah, there? And yeah, how it was, was that great. experience? It was, it was amazing. You know, uh, mm -hmm. while I was there, they also found out that I was a cellist. He knew that I was a cellist somehow. Right. And uh, they actually were, uh, wrote a... Uh, a, a part in the play in one of the the songs for me to bring my cello in and and, and perform Very also nice. yeah so it was great yeah. so if we, if and when it's on broadway you they, see that right. it was your inspiration that's incredible yes, that's incredible yes. and how long was that seer how long did I think that there, go? it was a it was it was a you know hardcore week you know of every intensive. day yes and, and intense rehearsing and working out the the scripts and acting and you know it was the first time I had done anything like that so it was definitely a stretch but right. uh, you know it, it kind of got me out of my, my box. And did you enjoy it? I I'm really sure. did. Right. Yeah yeah a lot of talented talented uh, artists there. And you meet a lot of neat people. Absolutely. That's good and so tell me about your uh, the audience response to your tour. So yeah. any uh, give me some yeah, highlights. From you know that. it's 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 so amazing um, you know when I go out and I and I, I perform uh, because you get almost like instant feedback. Uh, right. Some of the fans, they come and they talk to me and they, they will tell me how my music is very um, transforming. It, it transforms them. Uh, and actually, I'm not quite sure if that's the right word, but it's, it's, yes, it's, yes. it's it, in other words, it's all, it inspires them. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it many, it, another uh, really exciting story that I received uh, was there's a couple at my church who actually, they were, they were having a, a child and they were playing my music as their child was being born. See, isn't that <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Go figure. You yeah. welcomed a, a baby into, into this world with world. your music. I never would have thought of it. And, they, and yeah. they came to your concert because they knew they've it come was... To me. Yeah, they've come to some wow. of my concerts. Wow. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So that's really incredible. So then, so I'm trying to think of what else. So tell me about the... Um, the success of adaptability, the musical symposium. Yeah, so Boston University um, reached out to me. That's where I, I graduated from. And yes. uh, he had been following me and seeing some of the, the really cool things I had been doing. Right. And they thought I would be a good candidate um, uh, in coming in and, and being one of the members on the panel and just, just talking about issues that uh, musicians are, are running into today, particularly classical musicians uh, right. in a, in a, uh, in a, in a I guess 